All right. So again, ladies and gentlemen, to verify inverses, we have to use composition. So basically what we need to do is determine what is f of g of x and make sure that that is going to equal x. So remember, f of g of x is basically taking your g of x function and plugging it into your f of x function. f of g of x. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is plug in g of x wherever I see the x of my f of x function. So that's going to look like this. 1 over x minus 1 plus 1 all over 1 over x minus 1. Do you guys see how I plugged in the function of g of x in for the x variable in f of x? Does everybody see that? OK, now this is, a, um, this is what we call a complex fraction. And we are going to go back over these for unit 2. We're gonna, this is going to be a part of our, um, in unit 2, this is going to be a part of our uh, focus lessons. So we'll get some more practice in this. But the best way I would like to do to simplify this, ladies and gentlemen, is just multiply by your denominator on the top and the bottom. So basically, I'm going to multiply by x minus 1 over 1. So what happens when I multiply by x minus 1 over 1? Well, here, I have to apply distributive property, right? Here, I multiply. Well, this, these are reciprocals of each other, right? So they divide into 1. Here, these divide into 1. And then x minus 1 over 1 times 1 is just equal to x minus 1. Now, does that simplify to give me x? No. So they are not inverses. If one of them works and one of them does not work, um, if one of, then it's not, they're not inverses. Yes? Oh, I thought you had to like prove each problem was an inverse, but I didn't know that like it couldn't be an inverse. Mm -hmm. okay, so all yeah, it basically it's saying, um, well, let me just go and double check 31. Unless I did any math wrong, which I don't see, 1 dash 5 is 31. Oh, oh shoot, you're right. I did mess up. Oops, I'm sorry. This times this gives you what? One. Is 1. So it is an inverse. There you go. It's 1 plus x minus 1. So therefore, that equals x, right? I did make a mistake. I've got to be a little bit more careful. <coughs> now we're going to do the other one. Now we're going to do g of x into f of x. Maybe how do you get the plus 1? x minus 1 over 1 times this gives you 1. Right, and I, I was, I'm trying to work. I was trying to work too fast. So now I do one over, and I'm going to plug in the f of x, x plus one, over x, minus one. So now in this case, what is my basically my denominator over here? What's my denominator of my fraction in the denominator? Denominator. Nope. Oh. X. So if I multiply my numerator and my denominator by x over 1, you have to apply the distributive property. But what you get is x over, that, deli that divides out. So you're left with x plus 1 minus x. Right? Does everybody see my distributive property going on? Now, what's x minus x? 0x, which is just 0. Then you're left with? x over 1, which is just equal to x. OK? So it's just algebra skills, ladies and gentlemen. 